Hello everybody and welcome to Kerbal Space Program 1.2. This is kind of an ad hoc tutorial in which I show my wife, Lady Crash, how to play Kerbal Space Program. Hello everybody. Can uh, can you hear me okay? I'll need somebody to, to let me know that the mic levels are good. Because I am not actually wearing the headphones currently. But in the meantime, I want you to say hi to somebody very <laughs> special. This is my wife. Lady Crash. Hi. <laughs> Could I have made that a little more awkward for you? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Don't you get the mouse and keyboard oriented <clears throat> to you? You're going to be doing all of the controls and controllings and things. I'm going to be distracting the dogs and monitoring the chat. So Sounds good. You don't have to look at any of this. Okay. <laughs> so, this is Kerbal Space Program. <laughs> my favoriteest game ever. Mm-hmm. Mm. I know. And we're going to teach you how to play. Or okay. at least try. Or something. Okay. Alright, so... Let's go ahead and click on Start Game. <clears throat> go to Start New. And... That middle card, or, uh, click on sandbox. Okay, and over there where it says flag, let's pick you a flag. <laughs> There's a whole bunch. You're kind of in the middle of the pile, so pick whatever you yeah. want. That one. Whatever you want, yeah. Ireland. <laughs> it's the Kerbal version of Ireland. I just like that one. <laughs> just that one. <clears throat> it has a fuzzy animal on it, so I'm picking that one. It obviously wins, yes. <clears throat> Okay. And then hit start. Alright. Here we go. Yeah, hit over right. Oh, I forgot to name your save file. So it's just going to be called default. You are default. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I can remember that. Alright. Yeah. That's a uh, special message from Jean Kerman. <laughs> she bought me a statue of Jean Kerman last year. What was that, Christmas? Mm hmm. She was it's very cute. <laughs> So really, he's just telling you how to navigate this. This is actually a menu that you're at right now. It's just a 3D interactive rendered menu. So this is the Space Center. Yay. You'll do Yay. all of your, your building and most of your flying from here. Um, most of these buildings we can ignore because we're in sandbox mode, not career. So they don't really matter. But that one does matter. It's the vehicle assembly <coughs> building. You do guess what? That's what you do there. I'm going to assemble a vehicle. Woohoo! Top of the class. Yay. And click on the VAV. Alright, I had a burp. <laughs> that was on. <laughs> oh, what is that? Is it on? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. Oh my god. The microphone is on. Alright. Alright. <clears throat> <clears throat> so, you can click got it. That's Vene von Kamen. Alright, uh, I had this whole thing on how I was going to. Yeah, the dogs are <laughs> the dogs are back, and I was gonna talk to you about how to build rockets and stuff like that. But I guess we'll just start off simple. Um, there's the menu bar that's all the way to the left of the screen. That's different categories of parts. Right now, you're on the command pod menu tab. So all of these are what will control your rocket. 
or like the brain part, or where you'll put the curls. Okay. Now each different tab holds <laughs> a set of different parts. <laughs> this is gonna get worse, you guys. Just so you know. <laughs> Way worse. Way worse. So what? Um, I don't actually know anything about rockets, contrary to my husband's understanding of me. Mm. But so, you're very right. smart. You'll pick it up <clears throat> sure. Super quick. All right. So I guess first you wanna pick a a crew module, a command pod. So that's where my people go. That's where your people go. Got it. So the ones at the bottom are just drone corps. They don't carry any people, but they'll still give you control over your rocket. Mm -hmm. The ones closer to the top, yeah, like that one, holds three people, but it's quite big. You can see mass, 4.12 tons. It holds two people. That holds one person, but it's still quite large. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's like the airplane cockpit, but you can still use it if you want. Now we're gonna go traditional here, people. All right. America, go big or go home. <laughs> That's it. We're gonna go the large one. All right, <clears throat> America. All right. Woot. <laughs> what we, okay, now what? All right. Well, when you're when you're building out a mission or you're planning anything, I like how it hovers magically. Mm -hmm. It even glows like it's magical. It is magical. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You can build entire <coughs> rockets and they never touch the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. When you're building a rocket or planning a mission, you have to think of it in reverse. You have to start from the very end and then work your way back to your actual launch. So, the last thing that's going to happen is it's going to come back to Kerbin and it's going to need a parachute to land. Yeah. So, I think parachute. Only if we want them to live. I'm assuming that's what you <laughs> are in. I know, you seem to kill them a lot. Shush! <laughs> so not, I'm not she's, them not. she's making fun of I, me. <laughs> Alright, what do we, where do I get a parachute then? Different tab? Um, under the tabs all the way to the left. All the way at the bottom is going to be one called Utility. Yep, Oop. click on that. Okay. And the parachutes are, the two parachutes that go on the top are the one with the blue nose and the orange nose. The blue nose... Yeah, that one's a drogue chute, which is a, a smaller parachute that deploys high and higher in the atmosphere to help slow you down. But it's not really for landing; it's for breaking. I can read it. Oh, okay, sorry. I'm trying to trying to make things entertaining for all of our lovely, <laughs> wonderful, amazing viewers. Don't buy that. He just thinks I can't read. So which one? So this one also does not indicate that it can stop me, but can it? Yes. Why doesn't it say that? Um, because they added drogue shoots <coughs> later. I don't know why. Maybe they should be more specific. Well, the other one is very specific. Mm hmm and That's a tiny parachute. Oh. Uh, okay. Mm hmm So... Well, I think you already clicked on it. So now yeah. you clicked on it, just move the mouse over there. Oh. Yep. There you go. Okay. Boom. Parts. Okay. <laughs> All right, what's next? All right. So now, I need to survive re-entry re into the atmosphere, maybe we're getting a little ambitious about re-entering. You're going to need a heat shield. This... Mm -hmm. A blator? Yes. Because it ablates, it actually burns. Heat shields are mostly made of cork. Okay. <laughs> Your, yeah, the command pod you have now is 2.5 meter. So you probably want the 2.5 meter heat shield, just because it's going to match the best. Where does it say that? Heat shield, and then in parentheses next to it, 2.5 oh. meter. Alright. So thought you could read. Why well, to go smarty pants, not numbers. <laughs> not numbers, apparently. <clears throat> Alright, and then just click. And then put it on the bottom, because you're going to come in butt first. <laughs> There's so many places to go with that comment. Alright. <clears throat> So, alright, so we got our heat shield, mm -hmm. and we got our parachute. Now it's time to build our rocket. Yeah, we need boosters for maneuvering in space, right? Yes. Absolutely. I remembered something. You did remember something. Alright. But, <coughs> what you also need to, re Aww. to do... That wasn't correct. <laughs> no, you're totally correct. <laughs> but you also need a way of getting rid of them when you're done with them. Because this is all that's going to come back, is what you have right here. Okay. 
Hold on, let me see if I can have like who's talking about. Mm -hmm. Coupling, right? Yeah. Right? Very good. Okay. Now you want probably a stack decoupler or a stack separator. It's 2.5 meters. That one should be. Oh, that one's just called the Rocco Max. Do it. This is it what I need? <laughs> I just like the name of Go it. Go for it. I'm pretty sure it's the right Twice size. Twice the size of the next living room. Mm. They write like you talk. <laughs> like they're making a terrible joke? No. <laughs> like, anyway, I can hear you saying this. It's just funny. All right, so. How do I know this is what I need? It's the right size. Where does it well, say that? This one's a decoupler. There's there's a decoupler and then there's uh, separators. Separators will attach the top and the bottom from each other and leave that kind of floating in the middle. A decoupler has arrows that points which side will be pushed away from it, but it will stay attached to whatever's on the bottom of the arrow. Does it matter? For this purpose, no, not really. If, once you get into building bigger, more ridiculous things, then yeah, then it matters. Or if you're going to put like a decoupler on the top and have some stuff above it, mm -hmm. but you didn't want the decoupler to stay with the bottom part when you injected it, then yeah. Then it and sloppy as it may be, that's all the time we have for today's episode. We will be back tomorrow to further this uh, educational series. Until then, thanks for hanging out, everybody. I will see you tomorrow.